Welcome back comrades and fat capitalists to the last episode of this tutorial. We have been building um, a base camp and some utilities and in this uh, last episode we'll be finally greeting our first citizens. Uh, mind you that when you place a building it will only fill up two thirds of its occupants. You can uh, adjust this by the slider and put it to 100%. We have enough vehicles to start the construction on two constructions at the same time. So we have the two small prefab flats and now also one medium prefab flat. That'll mean uh, that we'll need 80 or so prefab concrete. Um, one of the things that people demand as well is culture. So we'll be starting to build the cinema. The cinema needs um, a lot of concrete. So not concrete uh, slabs, prefab slab, but just concrete. And because yeah, they need different materials, I can actually build all these things at the same time without uh, being uh, short of supply. The foreign workers have no auto search for their jobs, so I need to hand assign their jobs. I have assigned the small prefab flats now, that's why they were lining up green. I will now wait for the groundwork to be done on the medium prefab flats, so I can also assign foreign workers to them. If I would have assigned them before, then um, they would start sending out workers to help at the ground phase, and when the groundwork then is done, it'll keep sending people. We have started construction on the cinema uh, because that needs a lot of concrete in its uh, buildings process. And concrete is something uh, which are not used for the prefab flats except in their ground phase. They need one load of concrete. So all the other concrete is going to the cinema. And I also started construction on another small flat in which I will house my university schooled people which then uh, can work at the school or the hospital. Well, the first building is done. That's perfect. I'm now going to hand assign their jobs, their workplace, so they can start construction on that uh, on that site. In this case, there will be the store, the small store, so I can uh, have clothes and later electronics uh, distributed among my citizens. The second flat is coming. Well, that just has not enough workers to finish it in one go, but there's already a second bus coming like they they know it and then uh, it's done in a sec um, the second workers are going to work at the kindergarten so uh, the first needs are met food kindergarten i have now 11 percent unemployment because yeah there are 11 there are a lot of people who have uh, small children The materials for the ground phase of the third flat are being collected. I already placed uh, the hospital. The emergency services are uh, very essential and next to the hospital there will be a fire station because the fire hazard in this game is very high. The last phase of the medium flat is uh, being busy. It's now the uh, final phase of its construction. That will give me 90 so workers. That means that I can get 60 or so at a job site at the same time, uh, which will greatly speed up the process of building larger structures such as the school, uh, the cinema, and especially the hospital and the fire station. Um, and later on we'll also build the heat plant. But first we'll need to finish this uh, medium uh, prefab flats. 
which are done by the help of a little assistance of my own workers and now they can assist on the construction of the school. Well, like I said, there also need to be a fire station because the fire hazard in this game is very high. I'm still having to get to used a little bit, but the road system in this game is also a bit uh, different than we were used to. You have your mud roads, your concrete and asphalt roads, but they're not really convenient to build in a city. Then you'll be building really small stretches, which uh, yeah, are, a are, are just a mess. Whereas building these little footpaths, they use up a little gravel. They need some building, but it can be done by an excavator. And then, yeah, you got the highway for uh, in, in walkability. That's great. Everything is then easily reachable. When finishing up the bigger projects, I like to send in my workers only at the uh, phase when all the materials for the final phase of construction are, are there. Then uh, they will not be interrupted while doing their jobs. And as we can see, we have one death and zero escapes. Although happiness is at 74%, it might drop a little bit, it will not drop much further because the cinema is now operational. Most of the times the heating plant is placed far away from uh, the city center. I uh, will place it quite close uh, to my citizens. That will cause a pollution penalty. I am aware of that. But it will also mean that I can heat up their, their uh, buildings by direct accessibility. Which will mean that I do not need to build a substation or pipes uh, at the beginning. Although at the cost of having um, yeah, pollution. But there's also another benefit, it will now have a steady supply of workers, whereas when I put place the way I will need to transport workers there and that might cause interruptions in the heating. That is my uh, indoor pool that will be needed when the temperature is below 5 degrees uh, when it's getting uh, autumn or winter. At the moment I do not need it yet, but it's there. One of the last buildings I'm going to build is the police station. We'll be finishing up the heating plant and that will be the end of this tutorial. Um, to wrap it up, as you have seen, uh, I've been playing this game like it's meant to. You know, building stuff up, uh, mm. getting resources, getting workers and that kind of stuff. And yeah, I've kind of had fun doing this. Uh, my total game time up till this moment is, is is about just over an hour so I build this up in, in just an hour uh, I've got some live streams I try to do which uh, give the whole press process uninterrupted but uh, yeah you can see it's it's easy to do actually and it's way more fun to do than build a lot of stuff down and then yeah uh, get everything from the custom house and you have to wait uh, probably a couple of hours before that's all being uh, done and yeah, what are you going to do in the meantime? So that's why I made this tutorial actually to show you that there is a way to start playing this game and, and have fun with it uh, without uh, too much waiting time. Um, one also thing is that I didn't show it but in, in my expenses I exp spent 700,000 at this moment probably there's 4,000 or so of uh, which is foreign labor costs. Now, one last thing is what should we do next? We now need an industry that will generate an income, 
but I have tried some, but failed to find what is the most uh, successful industry to start building in the realistic mode. But you'll hear from me soon. You'll probably hear from me soon.